Little six and a half year old Jimmy. Watch too much TV? So much so, he never even took the time to learn how to read. Well, one day, while watching TV in his favorite chair, he watched Dorothy dream about somewhere over the rainbow. And he wondered what it would be like to be somewhere where he didn't have to learn how to read. Suddenly, he was awakened by someone tapping him on the head with a wand. It was Glinda, the Witch of the North. He looked around. He was no longer in his living room. It looked like Munchkin Land. And she asked him, Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Who me and I am just Jimmy. Where am I? Oh, welcome to Dreamland, just Jimmy. But I just want to go home. Oh, then just take this road and follow the signs that read home. <laughs> <laughs> read. But I don't know how to. Poof. She was gone. So Jimmy started down that road, and it was full of several familiar characters from old black and white TV. <laughs> Lucy. Lassie and Laurel and Hardy. He came to a fork in the road. In one direction, the sign read H O M E, home. In the other direction, it read T O O N, tune. But there was a black and white man standing there, so Jimmy asked him, Excuse me, sir, I don't know which road to take because uh, I can't read. So the man turned. You can't read? Well, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever. <laughs> Roadrunner showed up at Jimmy's feet, beeping, and took off down the road in a blur, followed closely behind by a coyote wearing roller skates with a rocket strapped to his back. <laughs> well, Jimmy didn't know which way to go, so he followed them to a very colorful land full of cartoons, Mickey Mouse, and Mighty Mouse, and Huckleberry Hound. And he came upon a spinning contest going on between Sylvester the Cat. <laughs> and Daffy Duck. You're despicable. <laughs> we came to another fork in the road. This time, the road with the sign that read home led straight into the face of a very steep cliff. And Jimmy watched as that coyote painted a tunnel on that cliff with black paint. But that roadrunner ran right through that fake tunnel. The coyote tried to follow, but Kaboom! So Jimmy decided he'd take the other road. But that road had a sign posted that read E V I L. <coughs> Evil. And as he continued down that road, there were more signs posted. Beware. Turn back. <laughs> hey, you, can't you read? <laughs> his head. And before him now stood Count Dracula. <laughs> Jimmy, you can never escape from here because you can't read. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so Jimmy turned to run. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so Jimmy bolted down the road and he was so busy looking behind him that he didn't notice that the coyote had painted a big hole in the road with his black paint. Well, that road runner, beep, beep, ran over the hole, but Jimmy fell in. Down, down into the darkness he went. A kaleidoscope of images and sound circled his head. Here's the story of a lovely lady. <laughs>
<laughs> Do you think Jimmy will ever find his way out of dreamland? Well, we may never know because Da 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 da! I'm a man, I'm a man, that's all, folks! <laughs> <laughs>